All right, alongside Brian Hayes, the host of Overdrive on TSN 1050 in Toronto, watching a goalie go through a slump is nothing new. It's happened to every single goalie who's ever played in the NHL. But when a guy says, and I quote, I need to figure out everything in my head, it's not my technique, it's in my head, that's a whole different issue. What should the Leafs be doing with Samsonov right now? Well, I think you let him know immediately, Gino, you're not playing at the NHL level anytime soon until this is figured out. So you work with him, right? He's your employee. He's your guy. You've invested in Samsonov. He's done it for you before last year. He had really quality statistics. But you work with this goalie, but you make it clear. Martin Jones is playing. If it's not Martin Jones, it will be somebody else. If you have to play, you're going to play with the Toronto Marlies. They'll put him on waivers. They'll get him through. But this is why you have the staff the Maple Leafs have. They invest in it more than maybe any other team in the NHL. In terms of sports science, in terms of goaltender departments, this is really important to get this guy back on the right track. But no more trial and error. It cannot be during an NHL game. It's not fair to him. It's not fair to the team. And I don't think it should happen again anytime soon. It's true. Samsonov was awful against the Sabres. But even after he got pulled, they gave up another four goals. How bad was this as a team right now? Austin Matthews summed it up the best. Embarrassment is probably the right word to use. Um, just from start to finish, top to bottom, not uh, not nearly good enough. It was a tough night for everybody. Um, you know, there's really no excuse. There's no uh, pinpointing the blame on uh, one specific individual. I think just collectively, um, probably one of the worst games uh, since I've been been here. All right, I'm going to put a bit of a different spin on this than I'm, I'm thinking you're expecting, I'm curious Gino. of where you're going to go with I this. I actually think Leaf fans are going to love to hear that because this Maple Leaf core, Matthews, Tavares, the head coach, Sheldon Keefe, the president, GMs of the past, they always used to talk about lessons, right? You get embarrassed in a game like that last night, and that's what it was. It was horrendous from top down. Yes, Samsonov was awful, but the rest of the team was terrible, too. I have heard for years them come out saying, that's a lesson, we'll learn from it. It's only one game, we're going to move on. I actually appreciate that Matthews did not do that here. He came out and said exactly what it was. It was embarrassing. It was embarrassing. It's not good enough. And I think Leaf fans are going to love the honesty because it has not been here for a long, long time. I get what you're saying, and, and I know what you're trying to allude to, that it's a good attitude. It's a different kind of attitude they need to have. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. It's an honest it's, attitude. It's nice, but it doesn't mean squat if you don't have the right bodies in place right now. Forget what the Leafs could potentially have on their Christmas wish list. What does Brad Trillivan absolutely need to bring in in order to salvage the season and make sure it's not another major fail. First thing he needs to do is determine, does he have the right goalies here? If he doesn't, that's it. That's the only thing that matters, Gino. He has to attack that goaltending position. In Toronto, it's constant conversations about the depth up front, depth on defense. All of that is moot if you do not have goaltending. Ask Edmonton about that, Carolina about that, New Jersey about that. Those are three really good teams. They can't get off the mat because they cannot get goaltending. If it is determined here, Samsonov is not going to get it back on the rails. Gambling on Martin Jones, dragging you to the promised land is not a smart play. No. Or relying on a rookie in Joseph Wall, who's been great. When he comes back. He's been great. But when he comes back, if you're relying on that, and he determines, Brad Trey Living, that it's not good enough, there's only one position that matters. The one position that can kill you in this sport, it's goaltending. That's what he's going to have to figure out. And he's also got to figure out the blue line with not just one, but two solid bodies. He's got some work to do. Yeah, he does. The Leafs' next three games, two more against Columbus and one against the Sens. Should be good news. But as we've discovered, the Leafs have just two wins in their last eight games when facing teams that are 25th or worse in the standings.